Let's talk about it with Toro Gatto, a.k.a. Cat Graham. Let's see. Absolutely. Hi, everyone. How are you feeling? Good. This is a transformation. <laughs> like, I, mean, I have to dig into the hardest. First of all, I, I will tell you backstage, I walked by your dressing room and I saw Anna. Very said, fast. She I did quick backstage. Well, because I did it, I wanted to see you for the change. first time with our audience and not see you backstage. So yeah, this is like... my, I was like, I don't want to see you. I want to see you like this in this version. Um, I read a quote once from Gaga, and she talked about the costumes and all of those things from her past that she said that it, it came through a desire to control or have control in this industry. That's interesting. This transformation. I think is the opposite. Really? Yeah, I think the idea of having control, uh, like my hair's out of control. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. My, my idea of self needs to be a bit more out of control. I think as women, sometimes we feel that we need to have control and we lose our, a lot of our vulnerability and a lot of our honesty through control. And I think it's okay to allow yourself to be out of control mm -hmm. and feel everything that you're feeling. You know, we're coming out of a, a time and we're also going through a time where we are struggling to have and find control of our, of our space, of our surroundings, of our health, of our jobs, of our lives, and all of these things that it, it, it can break you. Yeah. And I'm not interested in that. When you first got the call that you'd be in Vampire Diaries and it was a hit, and yeah, is this version of you more exciting and fulfilling than that? Ex I had shot five pilots before that show. I wasn't mm. excited. It was another job. Really? And even when I got the pilot, I didn't think it was going to get picked up. And even when it got picked up, I didn't think I was going to make it past episode three or four. I did not get excited about that show um, for years because mm. I was somebody who was a backup dancer, like you mentioned, and um, I had spent my time doing odd end jobs to, to pay for my music equipment and take care of my mother and myself. So I wasn't, I don't get excited mm -hmm. about jobs. I do the job and I go home, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And when you talk about, you know, with the, the thing about fame and, and, and all of that, I have girls that are like, I finally started embracing my texture because I saw your Vogue video and they're crying and I'm, they're holding my hands and they're, and they're really finding their, their truth. And for me, even if I don't feel the best all the time, I know that if I'm more viciously myself, yeah. that they will find maybe a little bit of strength within themselves, and Absolutely. that is worth it. Obviously, people want to know what does it mean? What inspired the name? The name, uh, well, my partner in this project is Darren Janae. He's my life partner, and, we, and he directed all of the films. He's a Taurus, and sometimes in relationships, uh, they can bring out the worst in you and the best in you. <laughs> You're, You're laughing. telling me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Toro Gato started off as kind of like our nicknames for each other, mm -hmm. Gato Toro, but then it eventually it evolved into showing both sides. We talked about both sides of the coin, right? Mm -hmm. We all have a light and a dark side, a shadow self, right? And they say in therapy you should get to know your shadow self and you should mm -hmm. get to know the side of yourself that you maybe don't give any awareness to and work through that, work through the, the pain and the heartbreak and, and have a conversation with it. So I'm that side, of, that's the shadow self, that's Toro Gato. So is it an alter sides. ego? I think Kat Graham is the alter ego. Fascinating. I think I'm wearing my hair. I'm embracing that I'm a Liberian West African. Like I'm fully being honest about myself and my life and I'm being a bit raw, I think that maybe Kat has been the alter ego. And I'm fine, I love playing her. She's shooting a movie in two weeks, she's fine. She keeps me working. Now, do you, she pays do you, for my art. <laughs>